What's going on guys? It is Wyatt and I got a super quick video for you. And no, the title of this video is not clickbait. Y'all want some fucking cheeseburgers? <laughs> Like I said guys, this will be a pretty short video. Uh, I did post the car up for sale last week sometime, maybe a week and a half ago. Uh, I listed it for $6,000 and had a whole bunch of people interested in it, mainly with trades and stuff, uh, but I was kind of looking for cash only. Uh, and then I got a message earlier this week from a guy named Jarek, and he sounded really interested in purchasing the car. So he is actually headed here to my shop right now. He is headed down from Pueblo, Colorado uh, to come look at the car, and hopefully we can strike a deal on it. Um, you know, I, I did post the car for $6,000. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but Boosted Boys just uploaded a video with the car in it, and the car did get hit with hail while I had it outside. I put it outside, it was nice and sunny out, the weather looked fine. I went on vacation and came back and it turns out the car got nailed with hail. Uh, it's not super bad, with a bit of work you could probably fix it all with paintless dent repair and the car would be fine. But that kind of led me to really seriously wanting to sell it just because all the amount of work and time I put into the car and then having that happen just made me lose interest in it really. So uh, the car was put up for sale and just waiting on the guy to come look at it. So when he gets here, I will show him around the car a bit, and if he's interested, hopefully he ends up purchasing it. Well guys, I wasn't kidding. The car is just about to head out to its new owner. Uh, I gotta say it's kind of bittersweet. I have had a lot of fun with this car, but after it got hailed on, I am kind of over it, and uh, just not really looking forward to work on it anymore. So, sold it to these guys, Jarek and Johnny. So uh, yeah, I hope they have some fun with it and uh, they're getting ready to head out. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys at the track. Maybe I'll come down to Pueblo and you guys will be out there. Yeah. Hell yeah. Badass guys. Well, that's uh, end of a chapter, on to the next, I guess. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, thanks for making the trip down here to come look at it and end up purchasing it. Okay. So right on guys. Only sketchy DA sticker ever made. And she's gone. Don't worry, we'll get the resin to off too. Ooh. RIP. She's out of my life, man. Damn. Well guys, Jarek just got out of here. He did end up buying the Civic. As you can see, my garage is now empty. So it is on to other projects. Um, couple things, I am happy that the car sold. I'm a little sad, but uh, I'm really just looking forward to starting another project. As you guys know, I built the DA, the original DA uh, during the winter time, raced it for a year, crushed it. This car was kind of the same way, built it over a year or over the winter, raced it a year and then sold it and that's just kind of how I roll. I just lose interest in things and always want to build something bigger and better and improve upon my own skills. So that is what we're planning to do. Now, this is where I need your help. Down in the comments below, I need you to tell me if you guys want me to work on the EG hatch, the red one that I picked up a while back. Uh, there is a video on my channel if you guys want to see that. Or I've got another project in mind. It is a 1970 K15 uh, pickup truck. It will be converted to a two-wheel drive, kind of just like a 1970s C10 Chevrolet pickup. Uh, and I also have my 2003 Duramax truck. 
What I plan to do is take the cab bed and front clip and all that off of the 70, put it on the frame of my Duramax so that now I have a 2003 running gear Duramax so I can still tow with it and all that good stuff. And then also make it about a thousand horsepower Duramax. Uh, I've been wanting to do this build for quite some time. I have most of the stuff to do it. And you know, really it's just gonna take a lot of time to do that guy. So let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see. I could do either of the projects pretty easily. I have all the parts I need for both of them. Uh, it just depends really what you guys wanna see first. So if you do have a preference, make sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Um, and hopefully we're gonna get started on one of those very soon. Uh, now that life has kind of settled down a little bit between purchasing a house, getting caught up on customer stuff, and just being absolutely slammed this summer, hopefully we're gonna get back into uploading some more videos for you guys um, and starting a new project. So. Before I end this video out, I'm going to do a couple clips of the highlights from building the EG or the EK. God, I'm all over the place tonight. Um, some couple clips from that, you know, like some of the drag strips, some good times that we had with building the car or doing things with the car. Um, and then we'll probably end out the video there. He's just testing the eBay turbo. He's just testing the eBay turbo. That's not cool. <laughs> You guys ready to hear this piece? Oh, nice check engine light. We're gonna make it home, boys. Oh, turn you old bitch. Let's go, baby. guys you ready to see the carnage because it is pretty cool it is cracked sleeve just like I thought get the light up here so you can see it look at that bad boy right there nice big old crack all the way down the cylinder wall well guys I hope you enjoyed that montage of the car the thing was an absolute blast I had a lot of good times with the car a uh, big shout out to Meticulous Hayden. He does an amazing job with fabrication work. Uh, huge thanks to him for helping me with the roll cage in the car, uh, sponsoring the turbo manifold that's on the car. If you guys need a top notch turbo manifold, make sure to hit him up. I will leave his website down in the description below. That thing has been through hell and back, making all kinds of power with tons of heat and heat cycles through it. And I never had a single problem with it. So if you guys are looking for an affordable, great turbo manifold, make sure to check that out. Another shout out to Brent and Jamie over at PFI Speed. They have helped me quite a bit with the car, whether it was answering questions or Brent and Jamie helping me with the tune up on the car. Uh, big thanks to them. They were always there to help and I really appreciate that. Uh, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's a little bit sad seeing the car go, but we are on to bigger and better things from here on out. 
So if you guys want to see those, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below of what project you guys want to see next. And I guess we'll just go from there. If you guys haven't, also make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon because I upload like once a month. And you know, if you want to be notified about that, you got to hit the bell icon. So with that being said, I guess I will leave the video off there. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next one. Peace.